All right, guys, so today we're gonna check out the DOS Soundbox XL Ultra. And the reason that I wanted to check these speakers out on the channel is because they have more of an elegant or an adult look to them compared to a lot of the other speakers that we check out. Now, it's available in three different colors. They have an all black model, they have a gray, and then they also have a gold. And it has like a wood grain look on the outside and it has this really nice aluminum look where the speaker grills are and it just it's clean it's very simple it's very elegant and again that's kind of what caught my eye about these now they do come in at 179 dollars so at their original retail price they are not cheap but right now on amazon they are on sale for 129 dollars and that's important because i bought two of these to basically take advantage of the left and right stereo pairing that you can do when you have more than one of these. Now I bought two colors. You can see that I have the gold and the gray model here. I'm not sure, and it's kind of hard to tell in the pictures on Amazon if the black model actually has the wood grain look to it. It just actually may be a solid black. So each speaker individually is actually its own 2.1 system because it has a 40 watt sub and it's using dual 20 watt intermagnetic drivers. So there's two main drivers in here and a 40 watt subwoofer. So that is 80 watts total in each speaker. So if you're gonna pair two of these, that's 160 watts and it's giving you that left and right stereo. And again, that is where I feel like these definitely take a leap in front of a lot of the other speakers out there. Now it's also using a dual DSP system. So it has its own amplification inside. It also is powered by two bass reflex ducts, which is allowing the bass to kind of breathe a little bit. It's keeping these from getting distorted. It's also keeping the bass from affecting the rest of the audio quality. So that is also important. And the Bluetooth on these is using 5.3. It says that it has 99 feet of range, but that's gonna be like direct sight, 99 feet. So if you're gonna have walls and things like that, uh, obviously you're not gonna be able to get almost 100 feet away from the speaker. And then the battery life on these, uh, it says that you can get up to 18 hours on a full charge. And it does come with a USB-C cable to charge the speaker. And that is the only thing included in the box other than the speaker. It's very, very simple. On the back of the speaker though, you do have some different inputs. You have that USB-C to charge. Uh, it also has a micro SD card slot if you have music loaded on a micro SD card. Same thing, it has a USB-A slot. So if you wanna put a flash drive in here that has some music, you can play it from that. And then it also has a regular three and a half millimeter line input or auxiliary input. So if you just wanna plug straight into a device and use the speaker that way, you can. So there's a bunch of different options in being able to use this speaker. But what kind of confused me about this, because most Bluetooth speakers at least have like an IPX4 rating, uh, so it can have a little bit of water resistance, but this speaker does not have any IP rating. So I'm not sure uh, if it's made specifically to just use indoors, and maybe the wood grain wouldn't stand up too well by using it outside. I'm not really sure, but I know with having no IP rating, I would definitely be careful using it uh, if you think it's gonna rain or even using it by the pool. Now, as far as the controls, it is very simple here as well. You can see that it kind of has this circular button control on the top. This is what allows you to control everything. You have your play, your pause, your ability to skip your tracks forward, go backwards, the volume up and down, and then you also have this little bass boost as well. So it's nice that all of that is located right up top. It's really easy to control the speaker. But now I wanna go ahead and jump into the sound. The sound on these are extremely clear. They're very fast when it comes to bass. It's nice and punchy, but it's tight. <laughs> Again, because of its elegant look, I feel like the sound kind of matches it as well. It does a really good job uh, with classical music, easy listening, country, anything that has more of a cleaner approach. But you'd be still quite surprised when you go to pop and hip hop 
and rock and metal on how well this speaker can keep up because it does again have plenty of punch in the low end but it's very very fast which means it's good uh, with chaotic genres like rock and metal uh, but the bass does have that deep punch to it so pop and hip-hop uh, it'll lend itself well to now i wouldn't say that this is like an overly bass heavy speaker if you're more of a bass head and you're looking for that subwoofer type sound i think that's where i would kind of point you in the direction of jbl speakers uh, even the skull candy speaker that they have out that's similar in size to these has a lot more bass to them but this one in my opinion has a better all-around sound and again being able to pair it left and right stereo uh, and having that much power on both sides of you that is again where these really stand out so my overall opinion is this if you're just looking for like a single speaker and you're looking for a speaker uh, that's pretty universal to be able to go indoors and outdoors and you don't have to worry about weather and things like that that's not what this speaker is i, I really do feel like I'm most comfortable using this speaker indoors. I would be worried if it starts to rain. I would be worried if I'm near the pool where it might get splashed on. Uh, so that kind of holds me back from using it in other situations where I would use other speakers, but in an office or living room or whatever room environment uh, and having one speaker on one side and another speaker on the other side, that is where this pair really starts to shine. So I feel like to really take advantage of these speakers, I feel like you need two. Uh, so I've, that already kind of puts it as a 260-ish dollar investment, now, which I think is well worth it. But I think for the $130 by itself, that's where it has a lot more competition. And I feel like it's kind of held back by not having that IP rating. That's again, just personal preference. Obviously you can use the speaker outdoors. It's just not as well protected. But guys, that's my video on the DOS Soundbox XL Ultras. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.